Okay, this is the house at 19 Elise Way. So the owner of this property was um, lives in Idaho and he had the house custom built for himself thinking that he was gonna come up here and spend a lot of the summers here and never ended up doing that a whole lot. So this is um, Jackrabbit right there. So I do hear quite a bit of traffic going by. There will not be a house built here, which is good and bad because you've got the views of the mountains, but you also have nothing blocking that sound. So something to keep in mind. Um, this was a 2009 Parade of Homes house. So they did add a lot of extras to the house. A uh, nice covered patio area here. Let me go into the house. Opens right up to the living room space. Um, because he is selling the house and barely lived in it, uh, some of the furniture is up for grabs if that is of interest to you at all. So there is a little bit of a landing area. It is slate tile as you come into the house. Um, it does have nice side lights on either side of the door. So it is a little bit more separated than most homes that we build now. Um, cute little dining space with a rounded table. It looks like alder cabinets, hardwood floor. It is a laminate counter. Well, no, this is a granite countertop. Um, it looked it looked funny with this edge right there. It made it look like it was a laminate countertop. Nice range hood, but then that means you don't have a microwave spot. Pantry cabinet. It's not very deep though. It's only about 12 inches deep. Tile backsplash, sink. So from the kitchen sink, you have nice views. Definitely can't hear the traffic inside the house, but outside the house, it is fairly loud. Um, we've got quite a bit of cloud cover, so you, the mountains go up higher than what we're able to see right now. Gas range. Okay, and then out the backyard, a little covered patio area here. Some stamped concrete, there is a big crack here, but that's far enough out that it's not like the house is shifting or anything. It is hard, hard pipes for gas to have a barbecue grill right there air conditioning unit behind this bush over there. Decent sized yard, it's fully fenced. Um, there is a stoplight in that gas station there, so it does slow traffic down a little bit through here. But you can definitely, it's gonna be a steady hum of traffic for sure. So gas fireplace, some nice rock work, some cute shelves on either side. It does have some surround sound speakers in the ceiling here and here and a third one over there. Little linen closet in the hallway. That's also where the receiver is for the surround sound. Master bedroom. This is a king size bed, so there's plenty of room in here. Walk in closet. It's nice that it has the shelving in here. This makes it a little bit more usable and functional. In the master bathroom.
So kind of funky that this is the shower and a huge tub. Um, so you have a you have two steps to kind of to get in and out. So that's for young people not an issue, but um, for older people that could be definitely a hindrance. A little toilet area there. Okay. Um, there is one offer on the house so far and other people are talking about making offers, but none have been submitted yet. They are taking offers through tomorrow, Friday, and they will be reviewing and responding to offers by Monday. So this is kind of a makeshift laundry sink and it's the half bathroom for guests. This goes out to the garage. Um, he has a painted garage floor, painted walls, you know, it's not all finished out. That would be a door going to the back backyard. And there's the furnace right there. Looks like a water softener system. That must be an on-demand water heater, so an Insta-Hot water heater. And there is a security, I believe, security system. Uh, priority burner, no, flow meter alarm set. That must be for um, the heating system. Okay, and then to the other bedrooms on this side of the house. So, good sized bedroom. This is a queen bed in here. They are Pella wood windows, so they did higher quality windows than what we're typically seeing for most houses right now. Some shelves, not a huge closet. This is functioning as the entry closet because there was not a closet up at the front door. Linen closet. And then the third bedroom. This one has a bigger closet. And the crawl space access. And then the other guest bathroom. All right, let me know what you think if you have any questions, okay?